launch my first collection in five years. So five episodes on days, make sure I'm really covered. And then I'm doing the middle. Oh my God, you have to memorize all that? This is a lot of pressure because as we know, this brain is not as sharp as it once used to be. How many jobs are for 40 year old women? Uh, none. Yeah. You know, you cast a 50 year old man, he's gonna have a 25 year old girlfriend or wife. That's Sweetie. my life! <laughs> Oops. I can't say <laughs> That was so funny. funny. Erica, Kyle, and Dorit, you all found great success in your 40s. Is 40 the new 30? I think so. Yeah. I think so. I don't think that, yeah, I think that's kind of passe to think you're done. In my 20s and 30s, I was so busy, you know, being a mom, you know, trying to work too, but it was so hard, and now it's great to be able to do this now. I think it's a really great message to send. I really do. Yeah, well, totally. Also, so I mean, many women watching thinking, oh, well, I'm not just, because we did used to think that. Yeah, well, totally. Well, that was that age, wasn't it, where it was like, okay, it's all over. Your book is out. Congratulations. Thank Pretty you. mess. How's it going? Third printing. Great. Wow. Great. That means it's selling a lot. <laughs> like a lot. Best I can tell, yes. Erica, there's a passage in your book about your mom that stood out to me. You say, I definitely picked up Renee's talent for saying hateful things. That's why I'm always so afraid to lose my temper on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. If I ever did, I would really eviscerate someone. So are you saying we've, we have never seen you lose your temper? Well, Not even with Eileen or, or Teddy? No, I don't think so. Okay. Shut the up. Um, it's confusing. No, excuse me. Don't ever say I'm pretending because I'm not pretending. I'm telling you the truth. I don't remember saying that. Don't ever say that to me again. Okay. Don't f with me like that. You don't want that. Don't. Okay. I think that what happened with Eileen was definitely a place of fear. And with the thing with Teddy was a place of frustration. And um, eviscerating someone, I'm talking on a super, super personal level. That was something else. Well, I think if somebody's got a temper, you know, at some point it's going to come out, isn't it? And she's going to have triggers. But I just think that Erica needs to really understand how it's going to affect the recipient of that temper. And she's that's saying why that I her temper her. has not come out. Well, we've seen a little bit of it. You said in an interview, you co-wrote the book with someone mm -hmm. who talked to a lot of people in your life, except Tom. Why is that? Well, I never, I was writing in my memoir, I wanted to write about Tom. I was, I, he, Brian and I talked to people in recollection of my childhood and things like that, but I chose to write about Tom. Has your mom read the book yet? I don't know. You don't know? Well, she helped me write it, but I don't know if she's read it or not. It just came out. I didn't send it to her before. Why didn't you send it to her? I didn't get around to it, quite honestly. What does Tom think? He hasn't read it either. No one's read it. <laughs> no one's read it in my family. I think that's weird. Yeah, what's weird about it? I've written three books and the first people that I sent them to were my family. I mean, you're, Tom, you speak about him so much in the book. Yeah, and I speak about him very kindly. I mean, he sounds great. All right. Kendrick from Jamestown, Rhode Island said, Rinna, you're the only Billy for me and I loved seeing you on Days of Our Lives again. Would you go back to the show permanently if they asked you? Uh, no, I wouldn't go back permanently because it's just too much work. Like, it, you couldn't do anything else. It is Hasn't all Hasn't the money changed a lot in daytime, too, over the years? Well, yeah, it started with no money, and now it's zero money. Right, I mean, now right. it's like minus zero. Right. Dorit, Beverly Beach is launched. How's it doing? So good. We, we sold out of the LVP. Um, it's after I modeled it. They just <laughs> flew, off the, flew off the shelf. So each of the women here has a swimsuit named after them. Except Teddy. Except Teddy and Camille. Yes. I mean, it sounds <laughs> a little... Shady. Well, I think you can interpret it any <laughs> which way. Shady. But, you know, I, uh, I don't have to make excuses for it. It's my line, you know, and I'm going to name it after the women that I feel really bring something to my life. And Teddy's new. We, you know, just started a friendship. Are you offended that she didn't uh, name one after you? I mean, there's that moment of like, there's that little bit of like, oh, that kind of sucks. I was left out on purpose. Truthfully, I didn't realize that Dorit and I were in the place we were until I started watching the show back and realizing that every time I called, it was a bother to her and I was so irritating. You know what it is? Teddy's one person to my face and then another behind my back. 
coming up next. The way you talk I, to me is so dismissive. I didn't how see is it. Dismissive. Just now, how you're like, Teddy, I'm not on trial here. Each of the women here has a swimsuit named after them, except Teddy. Except Teddy and Camille. Are you offended that she didn't uh, name one after you? There's that little bit of like, oh, that kind of sucks. I was left out on purpose. Truthfully, I didn't realize that Dorit and I were in the place we were until I started watching the show back and realizing that every time I called, it was a bother to her and I was so irritating. You know what it is? Teddy's one person to my face and then another behind my back. I had this idea, this notion that we were friends. I mean, you, you were texting obviously me. Didn't, Dorit, you were texting the second, me, listen. asking me to help you pack to Berlin, asking for fashion advice, sending me lovely texts all the time. Because Very truthfully, different from the person that I saw on the show. Exactly, because by the time we were in Berlin, I thought you and I were good. I had no idea that you were rolling your eyes when I was calling to apologize things that, about things that I had done wrong. I'm not on trial here. When we discuss well, it... Well, we're all on trial, really. No, but sweetie. not by Teddy, because here's <laughs> no, the thing. I know, but right. the way you talk I, to me is so dismissive. I didn't how see is it. it dismissive? Just now, how you're like, Teddy. Like, you, it's this little, like, put down all the time. And I let it be. It's a put down. Always. I have only ever been kind to you. Really? You think I have watching only back ever you've been, been nice kind to, you. to me? And okay. You have pretended to be my friend. I'm hurt and disappointed by you. I apologize for that. I can say this, Dorit. I had no idea how dismissive and how much you disliked me until watching this season. Well, it sounds like the two of you had, had a similar reaction watching the show. Mm. Right? Correct. 